Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another, like an unboxing first impressions kind of video. Three more color workshop sets to take a look at today. So I was uh, eyeing this particular kit here for the longest time and I never picked it up. I regretted not picking it up and it's the Wow Wow Brows Kit. It's 17 pieces for $4.88 and in this one um, you get brow wax, brow highlighter, angled brush, a spoolie, clear mascara, tweezers, you get the brow powders for any hair color, a highlight crayon, a brow pencil, which looks like to be like kind of like a medium brown pencil, and a eyebrow brush here and lash brush, a pencil sharpener, but the pencil sharpener won't fit this just for your information and then you get some eyebrow guides of course on the back there's instructions which are really nice and this was $4.88 and like I said I paid $2.69 for it yeah it's just like a regular brow wax that we get with this book open oh the brow hi highlighter is very nice I've actually used that one and it's soft and nice creamy and it's not too shimmery and it's very pretty it's more like on the satin shade you know so it's like borderline matte and shimmery and they throw them together so it's not too much of either one you know what I'm saying uh, the brow powders are nice one thing I can say about this is I don't like this packaging that the lid just pops on and off it is difficult to get open there's no there's like a little bitty tiny lip there and once again the fingernail thing and they're nice powders I used that one right there probably could incorporate a little bit of that one as well to my brows but I did like it nice I used the clear drill too that just lock in your brows I used the angle brush awesome works fine does what it's supposed to it is a little bit stiff but honestly I prefer a stiffer eyebrow brush um, personally so that's me um, the spoiler you did it great um, as well it's very nice and I use the highlighter crayon and basically it looks like a concealer pencil which is fine but I use this in my waterline too and it worked for that as well and um, really helped brighten up the eye so I like this. It's no different than the L concealer I use already to clean up my brows and stuff. So pencil form even better. And um, I don't need the, you know, guides, but that's nice that that's in there. This little brush here is nice. Um, let's take a quick look at this pencil. I haven't looked at it either. It's pretty nice. It's soft. Might be able to get away with that in my brows, but I doubt it. My brows are kind of dark, obviously there but um and it comes to the pencil sharpener for that pencil there so i really did enjoy using this kit on my brows i'll insert um, a picture now of the makeup i wore and you'll see that the brows are done and it was i want this kit here So the next two kits, I'm not entirely sure how well they're going to fit in frame. As you can tell, even from this one, it's kind of difficult to get these in frame. They're bigger sets. This is a 36-piece collection. It's called the Hollywood Starlet Eyes. So what I'm going to do is then insert a picture now of what this looks like on the website. And you can get a better idea and picture of what it looks like. I'm also going to be inserting swatches and stuff like that is, uh, throughout talking about this kit here. I think this kit here is great um, I think this would be perfect for a beginner mediocre and somebody like me that is well endowed in the makeup area um, where you know a lot of stuff and you know how to do a lot of looks and things like that even if you don't I think this kit is great because it gives you two pairs of lashes you get glitter powder this stuff the glitter is very beautiful um, like I said I've already opened this and swatched this so I can have my pictures ready and stuff the mascara, uh, you get, yes, you get a mascara, you get, uh, five eyeliners with this, which are slightly different than the eyeliners in the luxury liner kit, so don't worry about that, 
uh, three eyeshadow palette kind of things, glitter liners, two primers, two different ones, and Kajel eyeliners, and extra sponge tips. Or, well, not extra, just one for each, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Personally, I think this kit was worth the discounted price as well as the 988. Um, on that level, just alone that you get the Kajel eyeliners, the primers, the glitter liners, uh, and you get eyeshadows, lashes, and other glitters and liners and mascaras, you get so many products for a low price. Like, seriously. Oh, and also, I wanted to mention this in my other videos, but I totally slipped my mind. Mark Wins makes wet and wild makeup. Yes. And they're cruelty free. Just throwing that out there. They're called glitter powders, and yes, it's just glitter. Um, they do say on the packaging this stuff is made in China, so if that kind of bothers anybody, just so you know, all these products are made in China. I only opened that like halfway. Look, the glitter is so finely milled, and I'm assuming it's safe for eyes because it's in this kit marketed. That you can put it on your eyes, so we shall see. Um, you get two pairs of lashes, as you can see here. One is an Everyday Glamour lash, and the Date Night pair here. Um, I really was pleasantly pleased with the Kajel eyeliners. They are creamy. The only one that I was disappointed in, and I'll say, is the black one here. It's not super black. Like, you had to keep building and building. Like, I almost thought it was going to be like a slate gray. Um, so you get the black one, a gold one, and a navy blue. They're amazing. Uh, I was really pleased with these little primer pots here. So you get, you get like a regular matte, creamy kind of flat primer. So a regular basic primer which is awesome and then you get a shimmery one here's your shimmery one the glitter eyeliners I really like I just want to point out that all the um, liners that's coming with the kits have actual brushes they're not stiff felt tips and the glitters are very pretty. Um, I can't wait. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted the kit is the glitter stuff. The glitter and the Coachella eyeliners. It totally drew me in. And also this palette here. And let's look at this mascara wand. Extra black mascara. So a regular mascara wand. I will say upon opening this and doing swatches, I was disappointed in this eyeliner here. It's they all have like a pretty metallic painting on them. And I thought it was gonna be this really pretty, like metallic orange kind of color, but it's just a brown. <laughs> just a basic brown. Um, which is nice, really. I mean, a lot of kits don't come with some basic colors, so brown is always nice. So you have a brown liner and a black liner in here. And then you also get the champagne liner, another brown, dark brown kind of color. And you get a blue and a green. Um, these are the Color Workshop eyeshadows, obviously. Um... It said, Made in China, Mark Wynn, and five eyeshadows in each little palette here. Now, I do not like how they open. They're like, that's very cheap. What um, Some of the kits that I have in the past have better packaging, and personally, I don't like these ones that can just pop open like this. They don't clip very well. And um, so this one's obviously the smoky eye, and you have a couple... Well, actually about three light grays and like a smoky kind of gray and this somewhat black.
This is going to create a classic smoky eye. Um, the eyeshadows in this kit in particular are so soft and they feel kind of creamy. In my opinion, I really like that. Of course, a couple of them are powdery. These are cheap eyeshadows. Of course they are. But I really like that they feel so creamy and almost like butter. This is the nude one. These are so soft. They pick up so well. I'm excited to use this one. And I think I love this because this kit here you can do smoky, nude, and a colorful eye all in one. You have your lashes. You can add glitter for a more um, advanced kind of look. You have all those eyeliners to choose from and pair with glitter liners. You got your primers. Okay, with a mascara, complete makeup kit right here. Um, so here's your like colorful kind of one. This is what drew me to the kit. I love this one. I'm a big fan of green. Let me wipe my hand off here. Once again, these are soft too. Now, um, this one is kind of light, and I'm really pressing in there. But once it does come out. You know, let's look at that blue. I wish the green was bigger like the blue, though. But look how beautiful. Just upon, you know, just quick swatches here. I'm going to test out that primer and stuff. So we're, now once again, another Get Ready With Me video coming soon using this. As well as other tutorials as well. It might take me a minute to get through all of this stuff. Obviously, you know, I'm a mommy first. And sometimes videos and YouTube go on the back burner. So, just stay tuned for those videos. They will be coming. So, the next kit I have here. And I know this is not going to go on frame. So, I'm going to insert a picture of it now. It's called the Ultimate Color Blockbuster. This has 89 pieces in it for $14.88. And like I said, I paid $8 for this. This has four eyeshadow palettes. And I made they have 11 eyeshadows each. They're palettes. You get a bronzer, a blush, contour, and strobing palettes as well. Lip liners, eyeliners, lipsticks, mascara, eight nail polishes liquid liners sponge tips brushes okay this thing is for the ultimate makeup lover well the kit comes with eight nail polishes they're all pretty basic um a couple can be used for like holiday looks i like them and a few of them i'm actually just going to give to my sisters if i'm being honest these nail polishes are okay they're not the greatest they do end up chipping fairly easily now, they may have changed their formulation, I'm not sure, and some of them are kind of sheer. Um, but overall, it is nice to have a kit that comes with some nail polish. So, the kit also comes with five lipsticks. So, you get a range of, uh, you get like two nudes. A reddish kind of color, which, like I said, I've already swatched these. It's not like a true red. You're going to have to layer it. Possibly you pair it with a lip liner to get it to show up. Maybe truer red get a berry tone and you get a purple lipstick which is all great if you don't own a lot of lipsticks but honestly these lipsticks and these kits in my opinion are not the greatest um they have like they're like creamy and uh in between a creamy lipstick and a gloss so it's like a moisturizing lipstick so they have that shine to them and yeah they don't, uh, and they're not, they're not super, super pigmented, and you'll be able to see in the swatches. You also get three lip liners, and they're an array of colors, and don't necessarily match the end of the uh, liner that the color suggests. That's okay. I actually thought these were really creamy, super pigmented, and my favorite is this, like, oh my goodness, this is so bright like almost like what is this even doing in this kit but i'm so glad that it is because it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm really pleased with the lip liners and i'm glad they're in the kit 
And the lip liners will pair with any of the five lipsticks as well. So if you're wondering about that, um, you get a mascara in here, lengthen and separate. I like the sound of that. It's just a basic big brush though. Uh, next, the kit has three eyeliners. And once again, you get a purple with this like beautiful blue sheen to it. Um, so it's like a duo chromey kind of liner. I like it. These are creamy. They are nice. They're not going to tug horribly at your eyes. Um, they are decent quality for being in one of these kits. So you get a brown eyeliner and you get another blue eyeliner, which isn't horrible. I mean, if you use brown and blue a lot, you're going to love these kits because you're going to have a stockpile of blue and brown eyeliners. But I'm not complaining. I absolutely love that purple shade though. The liquid eyeliners in these kits are fantastic this year. Look at this black. They have brushes on them instead of felt tips, so that's awesome as well. Oh my. Look at that. Sharp as a knife. I like it a lot. And it dries quickly as well. The brown quickly, like, they dry matte as well. Amazing. That's a great quality for this kit. Next up is going to be the Bronzer Blush Contour Highlight and Strobing Palettes. They have this like top part that just kind of pops off. It's not in a clasp. Just like that. Uh, these bronzers, note that they are all very shimmery. I think they'd work for most all skin tones. They're absolutely gorgeous. Disappointment in the blush palette. Uh, once again, pulls off the top there. Um, this one is absolutely beautiful. I think you could get away with using it for like a, um, very sheer pink highlight. It's gorgeous. Um, uh, so they give you two bigger shades in the palettes, as you see. And I think their idea behind that is like you'd probably, um, use these more for like natural kind of looks. And these two, um, that's about non-existent. And that one is super powdery. And it's going to be kind of patchy, I can tell, upon swatching. So that's okay. I mean, I never expect much out of the blushes anyways. And that's why I opted out of getting the uh, six pan blush palette for 488. Because I'm not a fan of their blushes. Uh, the next one is the contour palette. I think this will work pretty decent for all skin tones. And um, a couple of shades are super light. They could be for uh, under eye setting powder or just um, a matte highlight in general. But overall, they are nice. These are nice and creamy, not too powdery. So they'll work nice. The brush will pick them up really nicely. And actually, this is a highlight and contour palette. So you get two contours and two highlights. But nonetheless, you can use them with whatever you want to. You don't have to use a product just based on whatever the name's telling you it's for. Um, and here's the strobing one, the one I was most excited for. Once again, pops off. All these are shimmery highlighting powders. Obviously, it's a strobing palette. And just quickly going through here. They're all gorgeous. So you get like a champagne, a golden, a pinky one, and another more like bronzy kind of golden strobing powder. I think that's pretty great for what this uh, is. And you'll see it better in the swatches. But I really like this. I can't wait to try it. Of course it's a little bit powdery. There's not like a lot of, there's not like loose glitter in these. So these are going to be great for highlighting. Also in this kit, you get four eyeshadow palettes, which range from nude to like a rosy pink palette, smoky, and the colorful one. There is 11 eyeshadows each in these, and they are nice quality packaging. I like the packaging. I like that it tells you what their idea of the name was on there. It's not just on the packaging. And, of course, some of these are powdery, some of these are shimmery, some of these are matte. 
I was really impressed with most of these. Because the looks possibilities are endless with this particular kit. Um, once again, a makeup lover would love this. So nude, and I have this nice clasp. The packaging is super nice on these in this particular kit. Now, a lot of them have that glittery overspray, but once you swatch in these ones and all these palettes, they stay shimmery underneath. So uh, that's kind of different from some of the other kits I've experienced. Some of them are just literally just matte shades underneath that. Um, maybe a satin underneath there. But in this one, they stay pretty shimmery. Very nice mix of colors in all of these palettes as well. And I want to say that they are powdery and they uh, clump up quite a bit when you're like trying to like swatch them. Love struck. So shades there. These are really pretty. Like, I love these uh, brighter shades here. And like I said, I don't know if you can tell, but like when I'm like swatching there, like it is just really powdery. They're kind of light swatched, but you can tell some, a lot of these are going to be light, but they are buildable. All these shades, for the most part, are buildable. And that's why I still think these kits are worth it. I love the combination of pinks and purples and kind of red tones in this particular palette. Also, I want to say all the palettes have highlight shades, transition color, crease color, outer corner color, lid color, kind of designated colors. So that's always nice. And I always like to mention that in my videos because a lot of times in the past you get palettes with no highlights or any kind of matte shades blended in and I just really love that in these nowadays you can have that see there are several highlight shades in this smoky palette here and I love that you get that really beautiful crease color you get some really gorgeous crease colors also in the nude palette forgot to mention and they're matte so I love that for transition kind of colors and a couple of these, I believe I thought that they would be a slightly darker than what they actually swatched. Not a true, true black in these. I feel like they could have done a better job at doing some different shades in the smoky one. I feel like their uh, several shades are very similar. Like, these two look almost identical side by side. Uh, these two, one's kind of shimmery and one's on the matte side, but they're very close in color and um yeah so i mean i think they could have done a little bit better on this particular palette here last and final palette of this kit is the color wave and yes it is this is like the colors of the rainbow in a palette and it's beautiful i'm so drawn to this one I was so excited to get this and swatch it and like I said before a lot of these are matte now because they are so colorful in this particular palette I really like that in this kit you get several other palettes because you can pair the colors with one another and make complete looks this one you can do a complete look you can do rainbow eye you can do rainbow eyeliner um, pops of color just colorful looks in general and get away with it but if you want to do a pop of color and like a more warm crease or something like that then the other palettes come into play this shade here is absolutely stunning like see it's got the overspray but you can still tell that it's going straight through there this one will look absolutely amazing on green eyes and yes the colors are a bit washed out because i'm filming near a window but the true swatches will show um they're a little bit powdery but oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. You cannot beat this. Seriously, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's seriously like a periwinkle. Now, you can see on my finger, see how that's all like powdery? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to talk to you about, explain to you Look how powdery that is. Oh, well, they can still be worked with. You just got to use like some kind of secondary sticky base. Oh my 
yes, I've already swatched these, but still, I'm so impressed nonetheless. Again, look how beautiful. I've almost swatched the whole palette. Anyways, so, yeah. There's more powder in it. And for it to be in a kit like this, I'm absolutely impressed and amazed at the quality of some of these eyeshadows. Especially these colorful ones. I know in the past, they would not be this good. Powdery, regardless of that, they'd probably all be shimmery. And uh, not that pigmented, more than likely. But I'm super impressed. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, swatch unboxing kind of video. Shed some light and highlight these items here from Walmart and the Color Workshop. Uh, I can't wait to do a more in-depth tutorials and get ready with me using these products. I can't wait to share those with you guys. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more hauls and other videos like this.